What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for all you rascals and rap scallions out there. Now today we have a horror movie collection update video, which you guys know is my very favorite movie to make, because if you collect physical media, what is better than a mail date? So with that being said, let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys some of the titles I've collected over the last month or so. First and foremost is a Code Red release that is just before dawn now this is a movie i was kind of looking at for a while but was kind of questioning because something's got to stand out for me to blind buy a movie if it's not from the 80s which this is so i kind of it had that going for it once i read more of like the spoiler free reviews i found out this is like one of the better slashers that takes place in like the wilderness the mountains the woods and stuff like that so i figured i'd give it a shot uh I'm very curious about how the cinematography is in this, and I mean, obviously the kills and all that, so I uh, had to pick it up. Happy to have that one in my collection. This next one is one I heard about through a Facebook group I follow. If you're a movie collector, you know you follow certain uh, groups on Facebook, buy, sell, trade, whatever. I never heard of this movie or the Scream Factory release in my life. And it's an Australian movie with Jamie Lee Curtis that is Road Games. Apparently, Jamie Lee Curtis is a hitchhiker, and she picks up a ride from an Australian truck driver. And through the time, uh, a serial killer is out there killing hitchhikers. So the truck driver wants to try to find the killer or whatnot. That's pretty much all I know about the movie, but... Maybe more of a thriller than a horror, but it seemed kind of interesting to me. And uh, also, I must say, not that I'm like a big slipcover guy, but I I'm pretty happy and excited whenever I get one through Amazon, which I ordered this through. So, Road Games. Really badass cover, by the way. Look at that. Next, we have Rabid Grannies. Now, this is a trauma release. I'm not the biggest fan of trauma. Like, I support everything they do, and I love it. A lot of their movies are just a little too slapstick for me, but uh, I had to check this one out. I heard really good things. I heard it was kind of like uh, Dead Alive, Demons kind of vibe, gore-wise. And to tell you guys the truth, I didn't get it. Like, it, it didn't really stand out for me. There wasn't as much gore as they had planned not that that's what makes a movie a horror movie but the the first and second act were pretty slow the only highlights of this movie in my opinion were the transformation scenes with the grannies who are actually ants so this is named wrong <laughs> now i sound like i'm just bashing it but whatever it's kind of fun to have like foreign movies in general this is uh like i said a belgian movie so it's fun to just see how uh how the acting is like how society was based off like the acting and scenery so like it, it's kind of fun to have certain uh foreign flicks now if i didn't have like such a big expectation for this movie it probably would have been better in my book but yeah everyone hyped it up and it didn't deliver so rabbit grannies next we have robocop part three another great scream factory release I know it's not horror, but I had to add it. I mean, RoboCop 1 is one of the most badass movies ever made, and some of the best kills, some of the best gore you'll ever see, so I'm throwing this in there. And this actually came out of like a situation where a lot of Scream Factory releases were going out of print recently. Like A lot that I started buying when I first started collecting are already out of print, so I knew I had to grab this because I picked up the Arrow Video Steelbook of Part 1 and the Scream Factory release of Part 2, so like with my OCD continuity reasons i had to get that scream factory robocop part three release awesome artwork i like the purple in the background and the bold italics and everything if that's what's called i don't know uh yeah i've actually never seen robocop part three that i'm aware of i might have seen parts as a kid so excited to check this one out then we have night of the demons the remake with Edward Furlong and Shannon Elizabeth. Nice to get a slipcover on like a non-boutique kind of release. Even though they damaged my copy a little bit. Right here. Which I'm not that mad about it. It's whatever. I mean, there's bigger problems in this world to bitch about. 
or bigger issues in this world than to bitch about a fucking Blu-ray. So, uh, either way, I love this movie. I think I've only seen it once or twice when I was younger. Had to pick it up. Uh, and the funny thing about this is I'm recording this whole Blu-ray collection, horror collection update all over again. Because in the original take I recorded last weekend, I claimed that this remake is as good as the original. Which I didn't mean to say. It just came out. So I could have left it, but fuck that. You know, <laughs> granted this is good. It can't touch the original. But uh, excited to check this one out. From what I remember, it was pretty damn good. Then we have Babysitter Massacre. Now this is really good advertising because tell me this doesn't look like a snuff film or an exploitation film. Something from the late 60s, early 70s. Plot twist, this is made in like the 2010s. And this is single-handedly one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen in my life. Take away a lot of the stuff they put out on the sci-fi channel. Like, I'm not talking, like... Sharknado aside, which is probably the worst, this was fucking terrible. Don't buy this at all. Bad movie. I normally don't talk that way with films, because I don't want to be negative, but like, gosh dang it, that movie sucked. And I know I bitched about Memorial Valley Massacre, which was terrible, but I would rather watch that over Babysitter Massacre. Both sucked. These guys, you know... Fuck you guys making horror movies and releasing them. Got me tricking me thinking how much I love Slumber Party Massacre, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Throw Massacre in the name, make it sound cool, which is true, but you done fooled me. So, actually, kudos for getting my money. But also, fuck you guys. <clears throat> so next, uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> the tangent is over. Uh... This is kind of relatable to how RoboCop was, where I see a lot of things going out of print through Scream Factory. So I had to pick this one up. This is the Texas Chainsaw Texas Chainsaw Massacre, speaking of massacres, Part 4, The Next Generation. This is the one with Matthew McConaughey in it. I've seen this a handful of times when I was younger. Uh, and not much interest to pick it up at first, but like I said, a lot of these titles that were going out of print, like I had the issue with Poltergeist 2, in part three, and it's like, I'm not going to pay $100 for these movies. So it's kind of like, get it while you can, you know. And uh, I'm actually in the process of completing the seven series, seven film series of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I wanted to make sure I got this one. And I'm actually pretty excited to give it a second chance. Uh, it was pretty wild last time I watched it. Once again, glad I got a little slip cover with it. Like I said, Scream Factory does the best releases so excited to have another screen factory release last but not least we have a john carpenter film prince of darkness now this is one of the few john carpenter movies i've never seen i just never heard about it when i was like younger and it just recently came to my attention maybe like six months ago and i never pulled the trigger on buying this now the thing about it that's going to make me sound crazy is the continuity of Steelbooks, Blu-rays, 4Ks, where, like, this was released on 4K, where I didn't really want to get it because I'm not really into that realm of 4K collecting yet, so when I do get a 4K, I try to make sure it's one of my very favorite movies. Not saying I won't enjoy this, but I want to just get the Blu-ray. Plus, much cooler artwork, in my opinion, on the Blu-ray edition. But for the longest time, the Blu-ray actually cost... I think $30 when the 4K was 25 So it kind of put me in a first world problem situation. But I waited a little bit and it turned out this copy went down 10 bucks, So I got it for $20. Uh, very excited to check this one on. What is it? Donald Pleasance uh, from Halloween 1 and 2. Can't uh, go wrong with him. And, you know, I heard this is a pretty good John Carpenter film. It's probably my favorite director. So I'm excited to finally, finally watch this for the first time ever. And with that being said, that is my entire horror movie collection update. I was going to say my entire collection. No, not really. But uh, yeah, these are all the flicks I picked up. Let me know if you guys have seen any of these movies. Uh, especially the ones I don't like. Let me know what you've seen that you liked out of it or what you shitted on yourself. Also, like the ones I haven't seen, like Prince of Darkness, like 
is it really going to be that good? Let me know, because I mean, I'm not sure when I'm going to watch some of these that I haven't seen. But, shit, you might tell me it's worth watching right now, and I might pop it in right then and there. Well, that's what she said. Wait, what? <laughs> Anyways, gosh darn it. Uh, this is my whole video. Good thing I refilmed this to look like a fucking jackass in my video. <laughs> Anyways, man, I love you guys. Uh, I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. I know things are looking up, but we still can't be reckless in society. And I'm no, I'm no saint or no preacher myself, but I'm just saying take care of yourselves out there. This COVID is still a serious thing as everything opens up. Hopefully in a long time for now, or short time for now, we can look back and laugh about this. But other than that, while you're trying to stay safe from this COVID, watch some horror movies. Uh, other than that, Blood Guts Gore. Check you guys next time.